Hello, dang on. The, uh, the container from China, which ar arrived in Melbourne and was taken up to the farm in Chicola, not far. I'm here in the caravan park in Cooma, New South Wales, Australia, about 100 kilometres south of Canberra, which is the capital in the ACT, which is completely surrounded by New South Wales on the east coast of Australia. So um, it's the capital, Canberra's the capital, about 100 kilometres, 60 miles south of Canberra, 55 miles, 60 miles around that, south of Canberra, Kuma. And the Chicola, where my brother-in-law David Bridges lives, is just north of Kuma, about 10 kilometres. 8 kilometres, 10 kilometres, something like that, just off the highway a little bit, off the Monero Highway a little bit. Now, the container arrived there, and last last week, on Wednesday, they got the final stuff of moving from the house in, in MacArthur and Tuggeradong in Canberra, where I lived with my mother, but taking it down to the container for storage. So it's now it's all cleaned out now of the house. The house is now completely, finally, after a year and a half, two years, cleaned out. Now, the cleaning of the house started apparently on Monday this week. Today is Tuesday. It started yesterday. Jacinta went up with Bridget. To Bridges in Cambria yesterday. Just into my sister lives in Kuma, this this town of Kuma, and she went up to start the cleaning of Twenty Nine Merriman. She's going to be cleaning the house with Bridget this week. I know it'll take the whole week, but there's possibly quite a bit of cleaning to do to clean it all up properly. After the cleaning comes the painting of the inner walls, and then it's going up for auction. So not long now. This has been going on procrastinating to me this thing has been procrastinating for a long time but it's finally just about concluded i'm just about now ready in the life of daniel thomas andrew daly to settle into my new place there's a place currently available in in canberra at a decent price it's been there for a few weeks i'm hoping i suppose i'm hoping it stays available you know it's at an affordable price and uh, looks interesting now, um, what what happened in, in December? I didn't particularly go anywhere. I didn't I didn't leave town. I didn't go to Canberra or anything, or down the coast or anything like that. I didn't go to any other place. The, I walked down the street a few times in December, down to um, early in the morning on Thursdays normally, and sometimes Wednesdays and Tuesdays because payments were a little bit different this 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 last month because of um holidays and things but normally i'd go early in the morning around four or four thirty four o'clock four thirty and i'd walk down um down down in the darkness of the early morning down to the royal hotel and lambie street in kuma then all the way up 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 the street the nanagot hill street i suppose the sharp street um so we're nanagot hills on the hill on the left on the north of the street uh, up to the hot bake on Sharp Street, across the out road from the Alpine Hotel. 
and it'd take me about an hour to get there, a bit over an hour to, to do the walk steadily and slowly. It's about a mile. I, I'm not hugely fit at my age of 51. I'm not, I've got a bit of fitness about me now because I've been doing, since coming to Kuma for the last few months, I've walked most weeks. And every, every week I've had a decent enough walk around town when the money's coming. I'm a, I'm not exactly uh, I'm not marathon fit or anything at all like that, but I'm I'm fit enough, you know. For years, for for ages in Canberra and Perth, I didn't go anywhere. I wasn't particularly fit. I couldn't walk very far. But at the moment, I c I can get out and walk across town if I have to now. I've got a basic level of fitness under control now. So I walk down the street a fair bit. To Sandy's Hot Bake, uh, not Sandy's Hot Bake, that's the one on Bombala Street, to the Hot Bake on Sharp Street, buy chicken pies, and I'll cross the road to P.D. Murphy's and wait till 6 o'clock, and, and wait till 7 o'clock. At 6 o'clock, I sometimes go into the cafe there and get a latte, caramel latte. And then at 7 o'clock, when Coles opens on Sharp Street, I go in and do my shopping and taxi at home. And I do that, that's what I've been doing as my custom since being at the caravan park for about two months now, about the caravan park. Now, that, that that's what I normally do on Thursdays, and that's my social activity, I suppose, you know, some people I see. Now, for Christmas, nothing major happened. I didn't get any presents as such, but I did get a present in terms of Bridget. The day after Christmas gave me chocolates, box of fav uh, chocolates, and um, Freddo Frogs. They were right. And uh, two bottles of lemon lemonade, Kirk's lemonade or something like that. And so that's what I got for Christmas. But on Christmas Day itself, Jacinta showed up with a, a Christmas dinner. It was a, it was it was an okay dinner. It was the usual sort of family stuff: potato, bacon, ham, and stuff. I didn't eat the vegetables; didn't like them very much. You know, the cauliflower and the broccoli was just. If it'd been gravy and they'd been well cooked and stuff. Yeah. And when and stuff like that, if it's really hot enough, when it's just made, but I probably bothered that much. But uh, it was a good, decent enough meal. I wasn't on my own on Christmas, and um, here at the caravan park, uh, I don't get too lonely anyway. It was activity all day long with people and car new caravans coming in and out all the time. And the bloke in the sort of unit just just out the door there, ten, five meters from here. Uh, he, I don't actually know his name yet. He knows when he calls me Daniel because I introduced myself. He says hello. You know, hello, Daniel, when I walk past. And so it gives me a nod. And uh, we haven't had a conversation yet as, as per such, any major conversation. But someone to talk to, I suppose, if I, if I really needed to. I, I'm not really bothering too much because I don't think I'll necessarily be at the caravan park that much longer. Probably won't be in, in the end. I probably won't rent permanently in Kumain, though I'd like to in some ways. I'll probably just buy a place somewhere. That's likely what's going to happen by the looks of it. So for December, I just normally went down the street a bit, uh, chatted a little bit to some people, the ladies at Coles who do the checkout work, just sort of, not, not sort of minor chat about what I was buying and things like that. Just um, saw some faces which are getting a little bit familiar now. And uh, taxi at a time. I know a lot of the taxi drivers' faces now, the taxi drivers in Coomer's face. I know a lot of their faces now because I, I use taxis regularly and so I recognize this bloke you know it's, it's always blokes just about and I recognize the faces of the, the Kuma taxi drivers well enough you know so I, I know this bloke and that, that's usually my my routine I got all my normal story uh videos done plenty of uh just over 40 videos I got which is on the channel Daniel Daily hyphen no high videos bible uh, no hide one I don't have access to at the moment because passwords and things, and sort of, I got, I logged out and couldn't log back in. You know. I need to have a pro pro proper landline at the moment to sort of uh, verify my ID online. So it's, it's just awkward at the moment. Until I settle into my new place with a proper landline telephone, I don't have access to everything I need on the internet at the moment, but soon enough. I will. But December was the standard work. I didn't get all, all of my written story quota done. I don't normally do that anymore. With the new volume, Sword of Andorra, I'm taking my time. I'm just taking my time. It might take a few years to get it done because I want quality. I want quality. 
I want to make sure it's up to the standards I've been setting. I, I sort of have a feeling that if I don't take my time with this one, it'll probably come out just fine anyway, but I'm not 100% sure it will. It'll probably, normally it'll probably be just fine, just as good as what's come. But I'm, I'm taking my time regardless to make sure it's a decent enough effort. So that's what's been going on. No romances, uh, just saw my family a bit. Same old, same old for the most part. Be moving probably very soon, not long now, and um, things are about to change probably permanently, and we're probably about to settle into a new place. But for the most part, mostly the same, and life goes on. Cheese.